They're tired of Republicans. People are, are hungry for a new solution. And, um, and the controlled it, liberal media tried to label it as a right-wing thing. That's failing. It's failing completely. They because if it's not a right-wing thing, it's a populist constitutional thing, and we can get liberals and conservatives to agree on getting our country back. Exactly, and they're definitely afraid of people like Deborah Medina, who is a true constitutionalist uh, candidate, and that's why Glenn Beck, uh, he mentioned 9-11 just out of the blue, just like in 2007, just like in 2007 when Ron Paul, uh, they asked him during the primary debate, they tried to group him in with 9-11 truthers, he just said, that's their free speech, that's what they can do, I'm not associated with, I have my own views. And it's happening again, and it's just disgusting. And I think this really shows uh, Glenn Beck, it, this really shows his true colors and who he's working for. Well, I agree with you, and I hope this isn't staged. I hope this was just a nut or somebody who was really mad at the IRS and did something terrible. Uh, but they're already spinning it in the media. Headline, right-wing domestic terror attack, Austin plane crash labeled right-wing domestic terror attack by Obama supporters. They're already out there with their talking points pushing this to now demonize the Tea Party and label it as right-wing and extreme. Yeah, it definitely looks like a co-op, uh, like I said before, the co-op of the Tea Party movement, the freedom movement, the constitutional movement. The neocons that have been trying to co-op that, it's completely failing in their face. And it, maybe it just looks like they're getting desperate. I mean, like I said, we don't know. This just happened today. But um, hopefully it doesn't come out as being, a, as David Icke would say, a problem, reaction, solution. <sighs> well, they know that if they immediately posted on his side. And the way they would do this is they'd kill him, stick him in a plane, remote control it into the building. That's even better than classic mind control. That's a classic op. And there's a good chance that's what happened. Again, I predicted exactly what would come out with the underwear bomber. Three or four days after it happened, they let him on the plane. They got him on. Somebody else was there. They were videotaping it in the drill to make him think it was part of a drill. They set him up. They blocked him from being on watch list. The government ordered uh, the State Department to let him on board as part of, his, of an intelligence operation. Same thing with the 9-11 hijackers. We've had the former head of the embassy where they got through from Saudi Arabia here confirming that. You know, we've learned their fingerprints. We've learned what makes them operate. We've learned how they tick. And so looking at this and looking at all the preparation and looking at everything that goes into it, if it's a staged op, look for them to find more and to find out he's a 9-11 truther and to find out he's a birther. Because, again, they'll give you something that's just kind of wider against the IRS at first because they know if they come out with him being a 9-11 truther immediately, people won't buy that. But but look for them to get you hooked and to where it, it it's broadly demonizing anybody that doesn't like the IRS and then expand it out from there. Boy, if we see that. <laughs> Anything else, Anthony? Well, uh, yeah, this event definitely needs to be investigated. I mean, look at the underwear bomber. Why did they let him into the country without even a passport? So, I, I mean, uh, but uh, anyways, what uh, what I was going to talk about is uh, when I talked to Sarah Palin back in uh, late 2008, I went to this event. I was by myself. I, uh, you know, I didn't get a good camera angle. I didn't have anybody to come with me. So it was very difficult to angle it. But I asked her, I said, you know, would you support the victim's family members and first responders who are calling for a new investigation? She said, I do twice. And she even asked me myself. She said, uh, you know, were you affected? Do you have friends? And I told her, yeah, I have friends. I have uh, I have friends and uh, people that have been affected directly. And um, she said, I do. And uh, this was bad. Like I said, this was about two months after uh, she uh, John McCain had. Um, this was two months after John McCain announced her as being vice president. So it was just kind of a, on a whim. I was by myself. It was right in my hometown. So I asked her, and the question is, Alex, why is it that Glenn Beck, who Glenn Beck, who has been propping up Sarah Palin, she said more about 9-11 and supporting a new investigation than even Deborah Medina. No, you're absolutely right, Anthony. And uh, give us the Ohio We Are Change website. Sure. 
It's uh, wearechangeohio.org. Uh, we've got, we're going to do a showing of TerraStorm this weekend on Saturday. Uh, that's up on our meetup. You can just go to meetup.com slash Ohio We Are Change. And we're going to keep the ball rolling here in Ohio. God bless you, my friend. Keep it up. Uh, I'm going to go to some more calls here. I'm going to close out the show here and, and go to some more calls. I may even come back live. I've got to do some international television right when the show ends, but I'm probably going to end up coming back live on the web streams only at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com or on the free iPhone app if you want to listen. Um, and we may fire it back up at PrisonPlanet.tv uh, as well for folks. So look for me to be gone about 30 minutes once the show ends, and you'll get to hear me live on air today as this unfolded. And as we say, isn't an accident? We hope it's an accident, probably an accident. As we then learn that the guy burned a house down, supposedly stole the plane, that he didn't steal the plane. Now the FBI has ordered his website taken down. Very suspicious. You'll get to hear all that broken down. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to pop back in. In fact, for sure, later this evening, i got to talk to my crew. We'll, we'll post it at InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com because this is too big, too important. It's like on 9-11 when I ended up doing like 12, 14 hours on Genesis. Um, this is just too important. So and then, of course, we'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time for all the AM and FM Global Shortwave Satellite listeners. But now you understand why these subjects and these issues are so important. False flag terror is the key to everything the New World Order does. They're stage crises. They're fake global warming. They're fake swine flu. They're fake terror. This is how they get it done, and it's been declassified. This is how they get it done. Let's jam in some more phone calls right now. Uh, who's up next here? Robert? All right, we're going to go fa Oh, I, 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 well, What I told Robert, he was going to be able to finish up. Go ahead, Robert. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about about this attack was how uh, they use preemptive psychology. Um, it's like, um, how, how do you explain it? It's like they don't wait for people to get mad enough to do it themselves. So they do it and clamp it down before people start doing it themselves. Well, this is what they do. This is what they do. Exactly. I've likened it to the way they put out an oil well fire by rolling up a big wheelbarrow full of dynamite. The big explosion knocks it out. And that's what they do. But they're not really doing it to stop violence. They're doing it to discredit a movement. Oh, look, you can't have states' rights. You can't have pro-Second Amendment. Those people are Tim McVeigh. Oh, look, you don't like the IRS? You're not going to fly a plane into a building, are you? And then it also gets the government all in an us-against-them mentality, hating the population even more, putting in the naked body scanners to suppress us. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like... It's like uh... Uh, it's not that I condone violence or any way, shape, or form, uh, but it's like, okay, if it got bad enough to people to start doing this stuff, they've done got your number, they've done said that you're crazy long before you've done it so that you all... You, exactly. You're all no, 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 exactly. They stage lots of fake terror knowing that when they start FEMA camping and taking more people's children that peoples are going to defend themselves. And then everybody's already labeled as terrorist. Very good point. Because they've already you know, had all these senseless things against innocent people. I agree with you. Anything else? Uh, I think I think that this is going to be used against you personally. I think that they chose Austin to put a uh, the, 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 the globalist, uh, what do you call it, magnifying glass over Austin, and you're going to be the little ant right there beside that building. And they're going to say, you're the one that caused this. It was your words, your ideals, and you are going to be made an example of. Because I agree with you. I, no, I mean, I agree with you, uh, if not this event, others. I, uh, they clearly did the event, but their people have been identified by then, so they couldn't blame me for the governor's mansion or one of my supporters. And, <laughs> I mean, they're clearly... Last night, I woke up in the middle of the night realizing a lot of other pieces. Because when you're exhausted after doing four hours of radio, it, 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 it's really hard to be truly articulate. But in the middle of the night, when you wake up with these epiphanies of understanding, you already knew it subconsciously. It's just becoming conscious now. All these big interviews that Fox, CNN, MSNBC, HBO, 
I've discovered they're all in the last year been making documentaries about tea parties and how they're going to be violent extremists, all to air in April.